many calories, carbs, proteins, and fats did you eat? Hi, this is me, Bonnie. In today's video, I'm going to answer that question and I'm going to share three exciting opportunities, including how you can get free grass-fed low-carb protein. And lastly, I'm going to share my pregnancy update journey. How many calories and macros should you eat? The answer is, it depends. But I'm going to share some general guidelines and concepts, some of which I've only shared with clients. First, it depends on your goal and current situation. Are you looking to lose weight and fat? Are you looking to build muscle? maintain? Do you just finish a weight and fat loss cutting stage? Or have you been dieting or eating too little for too long and think you slowed down your metabolism? Regarding how many calories you eat, in general, if you want to lose weight and fat, you eat less than your maintenance. If you want to build muscle, you eat more than maintenance. And if you want to maintain, then you eat at maintenance. First, you need to figure out your maintenance calories. The easiest way to do this is just track what you eat at least for two weekdays and two weekends and see how much do I actually eat to maintain the current weight that I'm at. That's your baseline maintenance calories, and you can eat more or less or the same depending on your goals and situation. Now, how much more or less you eat initially and what changes you will make will have an impact on your transformation, the speed and quality of your results, and your plateaus. Keep in mind, it's not as simple as calories in versus calories out because there are other factors like the type of foods, your exercise regimen, body type, metabolism, even your genetics play a role. How many macronutrients should you eat? Macros for short, standing for protein, carbs, and fats. Now, calories are king, but for the optimal results in your health, the quality of calories matter, and so do the ratios. First, I want to talk about a very popular concept, the 40-40-20 approach, which stands for 40% protein, 40% carbs, and 20% fat. The problem with this is, first, it assumes you're eating the right amount of calories. If not, then it throws everything off. Secondly, it doesn't take into consideration your body composition, your body type, your metabolism, or your goals. But some people will get results from this simply because it was better than whatever they were doing. And this does prove that you do not need advanced strategies to get results. Protein. Most people do not eat enough protein for an overall body transformation. The basic strategy is to eat one gram of protein per body weight in pounds. So if you were previously not eating enough protein and you eat that or even closer to one gram per body weight, assuming your calories are in line, you will see results. Now the ideal amount of protein to eat does depend on your goals. So for example, if your goal is maintenance, you don't need to eat as much protein. Carbs and fats. The reality is these ratios don't matter as much as long as they fit within your ideal target calories. However, there are a few important things to keep in mind. When deciding the amount of carbs you eat, keep in mind your body's carb tolerance, which can be changed. But if you've been eating low carb or doing keto for a while, then it's not ideal to just start with high carbs. You would have to gradually reintroduce more carbs to your body. For building muscle, protein is important, but most people don't realize that carbs can help you with this goal for many reasons, including fueling intense workouts, recovery, and maximizing your muscle building potential. Fats. Incorporating healthy fats can help you burn fat, it adds taste and flavor to foods, and it can help you feel fuller for longer. Fats are also essential for other bodily functions like hormone regulation and nutrient absorption. However, they are very calorie dense, 9 calories per gram, so just make sure you don't go overboard. I hope these little tips and insights help. Remember, you do not need advanced strategies to get results as long as you are doing better than your current situation and eating closer to your ideal plan. But if you want to maximize and achieve optimal results, a custom personalized plan is the best approach. Unfortunately, I can't cover every single situation in this video, but I do have three exciting opportunities for you today. Get access to a limited time offer of a 14 day trial for my Eat Not Die Peak Body Salary for only $9. This is a fraction of the cost. No commitment, cancel anytime. You'll get new content every single month and benefit from the same exact strategies that I've used for myself personally, including my bodybuilding shows and thousands of clients, both personal coaching clients and self-led online course clients. Also, make sure to grab your free grass-fed, low-carb protein from Biotrust. Much healthier ingredients out there than most protein shakes. I generally hate drinking protein shakes and usually like to put them in my protein waffles that I have had almost daily until I was pregnant. The only protein I really liked was BPI Sports Vanilla Swirl and Strawberries and Cream because others just made me want to gag. So I'm a very tough critic when it comes to protein taste. And this is actually pretty decent and my husband actually thinks it's really good. Also, this is just a glimpse into the exclusive free and highly discounted offers that I'm offering in my Eat Not Die beta tester program for weightlifters. I recently launched an e-commerce division of Eat Not Die and I'm looking for beta testers just like you. You'll get free and highly discounted products every single month and all that I ask for in exchange is a product review and your honest feedback for any of the products that you want to try. So hurry before spots fill up. To learn more about that and any of the three offers that I mentioned, just go to eatnotdiet.com offers. 
Those are my three opportunities for you guys today. Quick recap, a 14-day trial of my Ina Diet Peak Body Accelerator for only $9 to transform your body composition. Grab your free container of grass-fed, low-carb protein from BioTrust and join my beta test for program for free and highly discounted products every single month. As of this recording, I'm 31 weeks pregnant. Uh, and this time it's a boy. My baby girl, Aliana, was a July 4th baby and she's two years old now. And this boy is actually scheduled for December 27th, so we may have another holiday baby. And my birthday's Halloween and my husband, sometimes he, it falls on Mother's Day. Since this pregnancy was relatively close to my first one, my body didn't have crazy new symptoms every week, thank God, other than being fatigued in my first trimester, losing my strength, and some very rare occasional stomach aches and leg cramps, I wouldn't have even known that I was pregnant. Still lifting, of course, and listening to my body, much lower intensity and much, much lower volume, unfortunately, due to being very busy, very sad. I'm only averaging like three to four days a week. And that is just crazy because if I miss three days in a row, that's like the end of the world for me, typically. I do plan to compete again, but definitely not at postpartum again. I competed last year at exactly 11 months postpartum. And although it was awesome to be shredded, I'm definitely not doing that again. <laughs> so my goal is to compete and become an IFBB pro, masters 40 plus after postpartum. That's it for today. Make sure you go and take advantage of the three opportunities I shared with you today while they're still available. Simply go to eatnotdiet.com slash offers. And please say hi, ask a question, leave a comment below if you like this video. Thanks for watching.